Hello everyone, welcome to another video on 70-740 uh, exam uh, for server uh, 2016. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with uh, storage spaces. Now, storage spaces is a concept in server 2016 where we can uh, create a pool of uh, disks and then can use it uh, for and uh, use them and then create virtual disk from the pool of disk and then pr and use it for different uh, storage uh, purposes inside the server book definition of storage uh, uh, st storage spaces is storage spaces are a virtual uh, virtualization feature built into server 2016 client operating system consists of two primary components of storage spaces uh, one is storage pool which is a collection of uh, disk and second one uh, is storage spaces which is a virtual disk created from free, free space of storage pool so uh, very easy to 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 easily understand to easily understand storage spaces basically uh, this is how it is we uh, so we have a server we can add uh, uh, three new disks or four new disks or ten new disks uh, to uh, to a server and then we can instead of using the disk separately for uh, different purposes what we can do we can cr uh, create a pool we can group them together and create a pool of uh, pool of storage so for example we add three disks of 10, 10 GB 10 GB 10 GB and we can create a storage pool of 30 GB and then out of 30 GB we can start creating different smaller or bigger uh, virtual disks. so in our lab what we're gonna do we're gonna add three disks to a server and then we will create a pool of uh, storage and then we will create a virtual disk uh, of uh, a virtual disk of 3 GB and another virtual disk of 3 GB let's say uh, our finance department required a disk of 3 GB we can create a virtual disk of 3 GB and then provide it to finance department this will be a disk for the IT department and we can create as many resources as long as this uh, there is uh, free space available on 30 GB what is the advantage advantage is uh, that it's a pool of resources if uh, if ever uh, the, the this pool of resources is full and there is not enough disk space all we need to do is to bring a new 10 GB disk and add to the pool and this will the, this will provide space to all of the virtual disk now on the other side if we don't use storage pool this is one advantage especially for this is storage pools are a feature that is used for Hyper-V in server 2016 or virtualization application where the disks where the disks that are required are used for virtual machines so at this point I want you to understand is that we can create different disks and then create a pool and from the pool we can uh, we can create different uh, virtual disks from the pool uh, so whenever we uh, whenever uh, we need more space we can add more disks to the pool and then pro and create new virtual disk the other side is let's say if we don't use storage spaces then we can create three different disks one for HR one for IT department one for uh, one for another department uh, and in case if one disk is full you will have to go back and then add more space uh, to the disk provided if there is an option to add more space to the disk uh, to the physical disk now if you buy this disk out from the market of 10 terabytes or let's say 2 terabytes and it's full the you won't be able to add more space since it is uh, it is one physical drive so uh, so the advantage in pools is that no matter how, how big of a drive you create if this disk is full you can always get more space from the pool and if the pool is full then you can add more disks to the uh, uh, to to this storage pool so that so the flexibility is that your disks you will never run out of a disk space and if there is needed it will be very very easy to maintain and manage or add or remove or uh, storage to the storage pool so uh, in our lab what we'll what we'll do as we uh, are using three uh, two servers and one client machine uh, or three servers you can have three servers uh, we have three servers in our lab and uh, one client machine so actually two servers at the moment we created the third server as a member server but we'll be working on server number one so in order to follow the lab you need to have server uh, one server um, and uh, what we'll do we'll add uh, the storage so I'm gonna add actually so this will be I'm gonna add three discs of uh, 10 GB each and uh, that will give us a storage pool of 30 uh, GB and uh, virtual disk and then we'll create two virtual disk and one disk will be used by the finance department the other disk will be used for IT department one requirement for a virtual uh, a disk to be added to a pool is the disk cannot be less than 5 GB in size if you create a disk if you add a disk that is less than uh, 5 GB like 4 GB it cannot be added to a pool so the disk must be more than 5 GB in size so let's uh, 
do it now in the lab so we have i have server one server two server three my server one is uh working at the moment i have only one disk available so when you're on the server um all we need to do is all uh, we need to do is we can go into server manager and go to uh, file and storage services within file and storage services we can go to disk this will give us that there is only one disk available at the moment so let's add uh, three disks and create a storage pool so uh, if i go to a storage pool now at the moment there is no disk available no free disk available first we create a pool and then we create a virtual disk so i'm going to go to the server and go to the settings and within setting i'm gonna add three disks so uh, just click add it will ask us for permissions and i'm gonna add disk number one which is 10 gb in size and then add another disk so this is 10 gb in size and i'm gonna add another disk so make sure if you're if you if you want to work with less less space so it should the disk shouldn't be less than 5 gb so here so let's add 10 gb three disks to this and then press ok and now as soon as the disk is added i can go to the disk and then refresh my screen So while this is being added, this is being added, I can see four, uh, three offline disk, one online. So these are the three disks added. Now before even I create a storage pool and then create a virtual disk, uh, we can see that there are only one disk available in this PC, one disk and one CD. Here we need to see uh, one disk for HR department and another disk for IT department. So for now I don't have any. So in order to uh, create a storage pool, uh, what we can do, I can go to a storage pool and I can see a paramodial uh, uh, storage so this storage from so this is a default pool that is available and server 2016 from this pool uh, we can create our own storage pool and the disk from which we can create a storage pool are three disks 10 GB in size so you can see them uh, so what I can do I can right click on this and create a new storage pool so this storage pool is let's say this is a uh, let's call this a net plus primary storage pool so this is net plus primary storage pool from this pool we can create different amount of disk so for this storage pool you can use all of the offline disk or you can use any uh, two of the offline disk so for now i'm going to use all three uh, disk and create a storage pool now remember that when you create a storage pool that want the big advantage is that uh, whenever you need a storage later on you can go to the pool and add more resources so here i have a, a net plus primary storage pool from this storage pool I can create a virtual disk so let's create a virtual disk now so it's saying that you have 27 available now uh, 3 GB are used for the system purposes that stores all of the information so we have 27 GB available and from the 27 GB it's saying that um, I can create a virtual disk so here first of all this will be the name of virtual disk so I'm gonna name this this is for uh, finance department finance department this so i'm going to copy this so that when i form it i will use it so here and uh, i'm going to use simple this will be a very simple disk and here provisioning type is thin or fixed if i say fixed it means that fixed simply means that if i if i'm using 5 gb from the pool it will take immediately all 5 GB and use it if I say thin it will allocate 5 GB for finance department but won't use a uh, 5 GB it will just give out uh, disks to finance department whatever is required so I'm, in this case I'm gonna take fixed fixed meaning that the disk will be immediately taken off uh, from the uh, from the pool so our finance department disk based on our uh, requirement is uh, we need 3 GB for finance department and 4 GB uh, for the for the IT department so here I'm gonna say 3 GB and create so this will create a virtual disk now once the virtual disk is created then uh, what we can do is so virtual disk is created now it's saying that do you want to format uh, the disk so we can format the disk um, uh, to make it ready for uh, to be used so for now it is a virtual disk and i have 3 gb in size 
and here once we format the disk now as soon as we format the disk it becomes a volume and we can use it so here um, I have E drive so based on our architecture the drive letter we need for the finance department is H drive and for IT department will be G drive so I'm gonna say H drive H drive and next the name of the disk will be finance department disk and create so this is actually one disk being created so the disk is uh, a virtual disk is created it took around few uh, few minutes here actually two minutes so once the disk is created I can go to windows and I can see the H drive present and it is of 3 GB in size now let's go back to storage pool and create the second disk so now if I go I can create a virtual disk I can create a virtual disk right from here or we can go to task here and create a new virtual disk it's same thing and again from the same storage pool so 22 GB is available so as we use 3 GB from the disk and here I'm gonna name this uh, this is IT department IT department disk and I'm gonna copy the name and next again I'm gonna make a simple volume and it will be a thick uh, fixed provisioning so this will be of 4 GB in size and create so once the virtual disk is created it is not uh, it won't be usable unless we create a volume out of a virtual disk so that's why right after this step uh, we need to create a volume so it's taking it's taking a bit more it's taking some time and so so the process is add disks and then uh, create a pool from the pool we create virtual disk from the virtual disk we format it and make it a volume to be usable so it is created we'll close this and now so it is immediately starts a new volume wizard if you don't want to create it from here what we can do so I, we can cancel this right from here I can go to the disk and from the disk I can see that there is a disk available for uh, IT department but if I go to Windows Explorer I still don't see a new disk available why because this disk is not formatted yet so I'm gonna select from here either we, we we could have completed the other wizard or we can just go here and create a volume and complete disk will be used and the drive letter we need is G for this and then we will name it as IT department disk and create so the virtual disk is created and let's close this and then make sure that it so we have two disks available now these two disks are part of a uh, uh, storage pool now what if uh, our storage pool is running out of a uh, space so for example uh, 15 GB is left and you need to create a new virtual disk which is let's say more than 15 GB so what we can do the advantage of a uh, storage space is that we can always add more storage to a pool so I can go to the setting let's say if I go uh, to the same server and then create a new disk so I'm gonna create a new disk add disk and this time let's a add 20 GB a disk inside let's say you went into the market and buy a 20 GB or 2 terabyte of a disk in this case I'm gonna just add 20 GB so in this case uh, once you added a disk just give it a few seconds and then refresh your screen so for now I don't have any primordial storage available as soon as uh, as soon as the server manager um, is able to recalculate that there is a new disk available it will give us a primordial storage so if you have a primordial storage meaning you have a off offline disk available so here I can go and add more disk and I can use it to the pool and now uh, as soon as the new disk is added to the pool now we can see our pool size is 34 GB and out and now we can uh, what we can do we can create more disk or you can extend the existing disk let's say IT department comes back to you saying that 6 GB is not enough or maybe 3 GB is not enough we can always go here we can extend a virtual disk let's say I'm gonna add more 6 GB to finance department so and 6 GB is added I'm gonna refresh the screen and then I'm gonna go back here 
here 6 GB is immediately added or we can take out uh, storage as well so this is a flexibility working with uh, storage pool so guys this is how we can do it please uh, complete the lab uh, as uh, following uh, this video thank you for watching this video I'll see you in another video